Hi everyone, welcome to the next um, video in this festive food series. We have a very pretty looking platter of pears to colour today. I do love a nice pear. Now, let's do the stem or stalk, whatever we might call it, on the pear first and then we'll colour them and then I'll decide about the, um, the pretty platter. I'm going to use the walnut brown because these are very narrow I'm not going to do too much. I might make them a little bit darker at each end and a little bit lighter in the middle. They won't be very shiny because they really are just a piece of stick, aren't they? So uh, we'll just uh, colour those and then think about the pear. Now pears are fairly pale. I'm thinking maybe the um, may green might be the right colour. might need to be slightly darker. Oh, I'm sorry, you can't see. But I'm going to put down a layer of May Green on each of the pears first and then uh, have a little play around with the, with the colour. So uh, we'll just do this to start with. Now I, I was thinking when I first saw this that the pears I might do with like gold foil on. I've seen them cook like that before. Or sometimes people stew a pear whole. They peel it, leave the stalk on and then sort of boil it or stew it in something which makes them go red, like red wine or something. So that's another option for the colour of the pear. But I just wanted to do them as sort of normal colour. So I'm going to now grab my earth green yellowish, which is just a sort of slightly <laughs> darker version of this may green and add in some darker patches. So I'm going to start with this. The ones at the back are likely to have a bit of shadow. So just put a little touch in there and there. I'm thinking they might be a little bit darker. Maybe around the edges a bit. Like that. What I want to try and do is to help give them a little bit of shape. Because obviously um, they're not flat like, how they, like they've been drawn. They're quite rounded. So again by putting a little bit of darker on the edge that will make it look like that set back a little bit so it'll help to give the idea that it's rounded. We'll put a little bit down here as well where there would be some shadow just from the edge of the bowl. Just bring that colour in. Same here. So just fade it in a little bit. Darker on the edge. Fade it in towards the middle a little bit of dark along the bowl. Now I'm trying to think of what colour to do our little bowl. We want it to look quite Christmassy. I'm thinking doing it gold might be fun. We've only got, got a few gold um, things. We've got one that I did with a mix of gold. We've got, yeah, a couple of gold. Um, but we could do another gold, couldn't we? We could make it a bit easier because it's quite small. So let's do a sort of a slightly easier gold, shall we? Uh, let's have a think. Uh, let's start with our um, walnut brown and just do the really dark areas. So the end of here, the edges. Uh, yeah, maybe bottom and side. Like that. So quite just a little bit of that. Now I'm going to go for my sort of mid-brown. Um, hmm. What's this colour? No, I'm going to go for the um, brown ochre. Oh, hard to me enable you to see it. And extend that a fair bit. Like this. Oh, it's raining. I wonder what was I could hear. It's rain. It's supposed to be dry tomorrow, so I might go out. But I don't know if I've got a... I was told at the beginning of the week that I might get a um, 
the decorator in tomorrow, but I don't know. I haven't heard anything since. So I'll have to wait and see. I've chased him up today to try and find out. But if I have got a decorator and he's, and he's sort of settled in for the day, I can pop out. Because I know him, he's been working here before, so uh, I can just leave him to it. Right, and I'm just going to do one other colour. So I thought I would just keep it really quite simple. My light. Grr. I might have to swap it for my other lamp because um, it behaves a bit better. Sorry. Um, Naples yellow. So we've missed out a few steps here that I would normally do with gold. So um, I'm just seeing whether it's going to work. So I'm trying to leave a bit of a white edge to give the impression of shine. And here I'm just going to sort of fade off towards the top. Because that's the sort of centre one, so it's going to not have the shadow on it like these. Hopefully you can see. There we go. It's a bit more yellowy than normal because we haven't got that so many stages of brown. But it's just a slightly different way to do it, which I think might be a little bit easier. So there are our pairs. I don't think I'm going to add anything else to that. I think I'm going to leave it there, although I was very quick. Um, I don't think they would be shiny. Pears aren't really shiny. So I'm not going to add any white for a change. I'm just going to leave it. But So there we go. Thank you so much for watching. Um, I hope you enjoy the rest of your day. And happy colouring.